Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial. Uh, today I will explain you how to uncook an asset in Unreal Engine and then we will export it into uh, UO5. So I apologize for my English, it's not the best and uh, as you noticed I'm French so yeah I will do my best to be crystal clear. So first of all I will explain you what you need to do that, uh, some rules you need to follow if you want to make that work, uh, how to set up the engine for that, uh, then we will open a cooked asset in, in the engine, uh, then we will uh, install the C++ decooker class and uh, make a widget, use it for uncooking, and then we will export the new uncooked asset in U5 as an example. So first of all, you need a game with cooked asset, obviously. So me, I choose the uh, Trials of Mana, right? So um, this is Trials of Mana. I just installed it in my computer and uh, I use um, Quick BMS to unpack the game. Since I got the game unpacked, you know, I, I'm, I have access to the content and uh, all, all the stuff inside the game so you are set on UXP so this this this, this file are cooked we we basically can't open them in, in in the editor so that's our job today we will convert them into uncooked assets so this is one thing second thing you need uh UO 4.22 at least 4.22 I didn't try with uh, engine above that but uh, Minimum you need that because we will use the utility widget editor, which is uh, not uh, I don't think it's I don't think it exists uh, below 4.22. So that's why you can do this only in 4.22 at, uh, at minimum. So to get uh, the 4.22, you don't use a normal Epic game uh, launcher to, to download that. We need the source file. So Get the source file, you go on the GitHub, Epic Game, Unreal Engine 3, you go into the branch 4.22, you download the code, the, download the, the, as a zip, for example, or you can uh, just git clone it or anything, right? Then you you set up, uh, you you unpack everything, you set up, and once the setup is done, you generate the project files, and uh, you open the solution. You should uh you should get that right the solution over there so inside the solution we need to do some few uh few modifications right so we need inside the asset editor manager uh, we need to there is return false we need to to command that line 326 to make us able to edit you know uh, double click on an asset and open the editing uh, stuff inside the engine so we need to command that line to make this possible in material uh, shared dot cpp we need to assume the shader map is complete so this is to false we need to turn it to true in u object global we need to allow unversioned content in the editor in the linker load uh, we need to allow cooked data in editor build put that to one and that's enough for the engine now we just need to go in the solution put it at a starting point and then we build i won't do it because i did it i've done it already and uh, it takes a lot of times and i'm doing a short video so i'll try to do a short video so okay so build the engine once you got the engine built you open up the engine you make a new project and uh, inside this new project, when you are when you made this new project, blank project, for example, you have the project file over there, and uh, you will you will go to your game your, with cooked asset, the unpacked version, trials of mana. You will go into the content, content, and you basically need to follow the path. So for example, me, I want to uncook a character, so I need to respect every folder, right? You need to res respect every folder, right, you know? And you just copy pasta. So me, uh, I 
I copied, I copied um, inside char character, I copied player and common because inside common there is some material information and I want, I want the materials etc. So I took it. I just copy past following the path of the game content character, content character, right? You, you really need to do that if you want to make that work. Also, this game, Trials of Mana, uh, run into uh, engine 4.22. So that's a thing. Uh, you won't be able to open a cooked asset uh, that was made, that was uh, cooked with uh, Unreal Engine 4.18, uh, for example. It has to be the, the, the same, the same uh, archive version. And um, so some games are compatible. Some games are incompatible because uh, they are too old or too new. If they are too new, you can just try it with, like, for example, if the game is made with 4.23, you, you just use your 4.23 and use the same tutorial with 4.23. I can't gu guarantee that will work, but you can try. You can try. So I just copied. Uh, this and this you know inside the content of my uh, project and there are, there are uh, cooked file okay so let's check if i can open them character player uh, player 4 for example model let's say c open okay that's cute and as you can see, I have access to uh, morph targets, etc. And uh, materials are also there. Okay, so that's cool. But I can only use this asset inside this version of the engine. So that's good, but that's not enough. I want more. I want. I want to be able to use this asset uh, in another engine. Like, 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 let's say U5, for example, U5. But to do that, I need to uncook that field. I need to, to uncook that asset. So let's do this. Uh, for doing that, we will make a new C++ file, new C++ class, uh, show all classes, object as parent, next, you create uh, asset decooker. All right, I have already it because I, I've done that uh, already before doing the video. But you do it asset decooker, okay? And you create the class. Open up your two uh, CPP and H, and you will copy everything that's inside the CPP and inside the, the H. Uh, inside boss of the A, boss H and CPP, right? And then you build, you build the, um, you build the, the, the game, you build your game, your, your project, you build your project. Okay, uh, that will give us a new blueprint usable. So we will use it now. We will use it. So go back over there. We will make a new uh, editor utility, editor widget. Okay, so I did it. So you call it the cooker, for example. Okay. And what's inside this? Let's edit. It's just a button. So I just grab a button. Up, boom, button. I add text inside. You, you click here. I just say on click, on click. You add an event on click. You add an event on click, and on click we want to selected asset. We get the selected asset, and we want to go to asset tools, and we have the cook asset, and we grab that here. Save. Uh, I think we we good. Huh? We good. So now we run the widget. And now you can go to, for example, player six, model, model B. Let's see how it looks like. OK. 
Okay, that's uh, that's a cute girl. Let's go. Let's let's say we use that. And let's say I want this character. So that's a cooked file. And cook. Okay. So this made a new folder inside, and there is inside the same character, the same mesh, but this one is uncooked. Still have the morph target and stuff. To check if that's true, we will save, save, uh, show in Explorer. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Show in Explorer. Okay, so that's my U asset. So let's copy that. And then I will back to my project and Valley of the Ancient. This is a UO5 project content and I will let's let's say I, I passed it in in there okay okay and uh, let's open valley of the ancient uh, valley of the ancient all right we are there and there is the file there is the file. Uh, so he says that uh, um, there, are, there are no valid ske skeleton, that it's logical because we didn't uncook the skeleton and stuff, but uh, let's say we create a new skeleton for that. Okay. So obviously as well, I don't have the materials, but everything is there. And as you can see, this is the model and uh, you have access to the morph target and uh, that's cool. So this is working with animation, meshes, uh, physical assets. And uh, I truly uh, think we can extend that for more stuff, like probably even blueprint or uh, stuff like that, because I know we can we can load um, we can load like VFX and stuff in the engine, so I assume it must it must be possible to export them. Let me change the music. Okay. So yes. So guys, uh, I hope you you liked that, and um, you can improve that code. You can uh, add more functionality, more support, and share it on Guildors forum. Thanks to Constantin for, for this amazing website, uh, your model forum. It's really good. So uh, yes, guys, feel free to improve the code, add more support and just share it on the forum. Okay, thank you.